Hey guys, it's me, Dubflex, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool looking logo um, with Photoshop and uh, Cinema 4D. So this is what our final product is going to be. I'll include the planet's background and the flare um, in the description. So. First, just make sure your Photoshop is open. Have it. Um, yeah, hold on. I'll just. Um, I don't even know. All right, whatever. I'll just close out of that for right now. All right. So this is what it's going to look like in uh, uh, Cinema 4D. Um, so yeah. So here we go. Let's just get rid of this. So now what we do is MoGraph, right now, right here, right now, yes, MoGraph, uh, text, and now type in, I also include the font, it's the Skrillex font. So mine is Dubflex, so I'm just going to type in, I don't even need to put it in all caps because it automatically does it at the font. So Dubflex, font, this, and now because this is all like weird, I'm going to go and separate this a bit 35 spacing to make it a bit bigger okay that seems about right uh, we can bring it a bit closer I think yeah let's bring it closer and now what we're gonna do is go and to this extrude nerves or whatever uh, drag mold text under extrude nerves. Go here. Uh, change the movement to 80. Change the caps to fillet cap and fillet cap. And now just go to here and fillet cap, fillet cap, and object. Make the depth. 80. So now, uh, what we're gonna actually do is space it out a little bit more because once we add the cooler effect, it's gonna do something. So just highlight both of those: Control Z, Control C, Control V. So we got this, and now change the movement to 20, uh, the radius to 10, uh, radius to 10. And then do the same thing over here. Um, F twenty caps uh, ten uh, 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 ten. And now that you have that set. Go over to the side and drag it by the blue arrow arrow until it's about in the middle of there and now we can go back to our original spot and now it has a pretty cool effect to it um, now I'm also going to uh, link these two textures in the description um, I'm going to take this one and put it onto here and then take this one and put it onto here so now this part has a blue outline with a grayish inside and then a gray outline on this part. So now you have that. So now you just want to go and render it so you, so you see how it looks if you like it. And then just click on uh, go to render, uh, render settings. Sit, click this button to save it to wherever you want. Set it to a PNG. Uh, go to output uh, 1080 by 720 and then the, that's pretty much it and the thing is if you're this close and, and you render it out it won't look the way you want so you're going to want to zoom out a bit and then render it out with the this part and then once you do it then it will fit in the picture so now i don't need this anymore because i already have the you know i don't because <laughs> i got rid of the original no so 
So yeah, here's my original one. I'm just gonna go and save as because I don't have it anymore since I changed it. Uh, um, so now I can get rid of all of this. Go into my logos folder. Uh, find out where I, that just went. Um, did it seriously like not save? Um, Okay, well, sorry about that. I found it. It was for some reason, and it's hidden from me. So now let's open up Photoshop. Give it a second so it'll load. Um, as it's loading, I might as well just drag this onto the desktop. So now I got that there. Um, let's go back in here. Um, and now these are not my packs that I'm going to be using, but I'm going to be using this flare um, and two other things. So now that we got this open, um, file, file, open. Um, in this one, I'm just going to give you this planets file as like space 11. Now it gives us this. Um, go down to wherever you just saved your. Uh, 3D logo, uh, drag that in, and now uh, position it to where you would like, and then we're just going to go file, open, uh, the logos, and where's the flare, this one. Uh, we're going to go to. We're going to drag. I don't know why this got locked. Okay, whatever. Since I don't know how to unlock layers, I'm just gonna duplicate it and drag it over to here. Go from normal to linear dodge. Take it and. I put mine over the F, I think. So now, that's what our logo is. Just save it as a PNG or whatever you want to save it as. And that's it. Um, so that's all it is to the t tutorial. And uh, whatever you put for your text will hopefully look just as good as uh, mine. And, uh, yeah. See you next time, guys. Bye.